Thank you. Ow. Uh oh. Where am I? Ah, you're finally awake. Hey, how are we doing? I'm JJ and welcome back to Ballads of Remus. When the bed bites. So I am so excited to finally get back to this amazing game. So we have already played several journeys of Remus. If you haven't seen that, I strongly suggest you go and do that. I'm gonna leave the video uh, links in the description because several journeys of Remus are a little bit connected with this continuation of the game Ballads of Remus. Now, without any more further hesitation, let's just go and play the game. What's the problem? The pub has a horse fly, and none of us can get a drink until it's gone. Just a fly? That shouldn't take long. Remus is in there trying to get rid of it. Huh. Well, there goes my afternoon drink. All right, Liam, this is it. Hours of aimless swatting and we finally have it backed into a corner. If we can find a way to distract it, I can take it down. I'm on it, Remus. Guys, we are back into the game and our mission today is to catch this huge fly because apparently it is distracting villagers to get their drinks. Now, I'm gonna show you how it's done. How to catch a huge horse fly. So first things first. Now, how to untie the bedroll? The best way is to actually cut it and oh my god, what's that? Well, guys, I'm, I'm thinking you all already understand where I'm gonna use the straight razor. It's right here. Thank you. Now, let's just grab this rope and use it. Lasso him. Now, I know you thought that we're gonna con catch the slide in a little bit different way, but no, not right now. So basically, we need to open these doors because right here... Oh, what a stench. That's right. This is where we will lure. Let's go. Oh, it's so fast. <laughs> Great. Now, the... Guys... The fly is in a different room and she is eating. I don't have an idea what is that, but it smells gross. But I think it's the best opportunity for Remus. Let's go. Lasso that. Oh, you didn't need to punch that. A successful extermination with minimal damage. Do you know what this means? Remus exclaimed as he realized this was a first A ballad of a successful job without a negative verse Thank you, that was the Ballad of Remus and the Giant Horsefly Well, there you have it, folks A perfectly executed extermination job I know, you never thought the day would come But it has, and it's glorious now please, don't everyone crowd me at once. I have enough wind in me to spin a thousand tales of my greatness. What? Today, Grappa, we have places to be. Bart, what did you think of my new ballad? Probably the best you've heard, right? Ballad? Sorry, Remus, I didn't hear any of it. We've all been standing here waiting for our drinks. Was it the one about the time you slayed the mighty sugar dragon and saved the town from the plague of cavities? What? No, that was my brother Remus. Oh yeah, what a great ballad. Now there's a real hero. <laughs> How is your brother anyway? I don't know, we're not on speaking terms. But lend me your ear for just a moment and I know my ballad won't disappoint. Well, if Grappa would get off his lazy behind and serve some beverages, maybe we could have a listen. <sighs> get off my back. <sighs> I didn't sleep a wink last night. I don't blame you. I could barely settle down either after such an enormous victory. You guys did hear about my victory, right? Hey, Liam, play the song again. No, I didn't sleep because you ruined my bed. A small price to pay for a pest-free home, am I right? Right? I'm sorry, everyone. Until I get some real sleep, I'm going to have to shut down the pub. <sighs> well, if you guys want, we can gather outside and listen to my ballad. I mean, it does sound better in here with the acoustics, but the outdoors might give it extra mood and bravado. You best not be showing your face around here until we can get some beverages. 
We have to repair Grandpa's bed. This song is too good not to be heard by a captive drunken audience. To the market, Liam! To the market. We need to get that rope because we used it in a, a little bit different way. Grandpa some new bed rope. Excuse me, Ty. I'd like a length of your finest rope. Take a number, man. Ty, I don't know if you heard, but Grandpa is too tired to serve drinks. I won't bore you with the details, but let's just say it's urgent we get some rope. We've got bigger problems than drinks, man. A pair of thieving lovebirds have stolen all the rope in town. Now I'm working overtime to keep up with the demand. So you're just gonna have to take a number. Tragic, really. My heart breaks, but I think my crisis takes precedence over some pesky birds. How about it? Hey, man, just take a... Number, okay, I get it. I'll take a number. Patience is just one of my many virtues. How long could the wait be, anyway? I've been waiting for about two. Hours? Well, that's not so bad. I suppose we could spare a bit of time. No, months. What? Okay, Liam, we need to cut in line. I don't know, Remus. The only way that will happen is if we get rid of every person here. I like that plan, Liam. Let's do that. <sighs> All right. All right, guys. We have... Our next objective is to get through, but I am fourth in line, and this, the third dude is waiting here for three months. Now, guys, before we jump start, before we ju start the game, I want you to listen to this dude. Do you remember in the several journeys of Remus, this dude uh, basically made the potato people go to sleep? That was crazy. Now, let's... Yeah. So guys, first things first, we're gonna pick this dude because this is actually very important. Let's listen to the poem. With his ginger mane and killer stare, Ludzo really is quite splendid. I'll stop the song right there because he's easily offended. Beautiful song, Bard. Keep it that way. So you heard that, right? Now we need to go to the left and start our journey. Now, ba basically some loving birds were stealing rope and look at that what's hey psst, what's that are you talking to me hey could you help us out we're in need of some rope me too get in line behind me we can't buy it ourselves we're uh underage underage wait a minute aren't you the birds from the poster wanted for multiple thefts of rope okay you got us but listen we're lovebirds like and we needed all that rope to build our love nest we only need one more piece to put it all together and we're finished. Then you'll never see us again. Heartbreaking tale, but I have problems of my own right now. Please, we're desperate. We'll give us some dough to help us out, like... But I'm sure it's breadcrumbs compared to your usual rate. These are breadcrumbs. Yes, that's what I said. Forget it. Okay, how about this? You get us rope and we'll fly you round trip to anywhere you want to go. Tempting, but I don't have anywhere I need to go. Goodbye. Alright, so I have breadcrumbs. This is good because this will help to continue our game. Now, guys, I will talk to this lady. Hello. I can tell by that jacket and well-groomed facial hair that you are a man of fashionable taste. Can I interest you in one of my fine metrosexual scarves? A bargain at two coins. Uh, I'll pass. Welcome to Leopold's House of Water. Can I interest you in a bottle of 100% pure spring water hauled directly from my well to this semi-clean bottle by my very own hands? All for the low introductory offer of one coin. Couldn't I just haul up a bucket myself and drink it? Yes, but this new invention allows you to walk around and drink any time your thirst beckons. Pfft, <laughs> that'll never catch on. Did I mention our 100% deposit return on the bottle? So I buy the bottle, drink the water, and get my money back? You heard correct, fine sir. Now that's a deal I can get behind. <laughs> the deal is amazing. Anyway, we need to go to the right. And, guys, we have breadcrumbs. So basically these three people um, are waiting in line. As you can see, the monkey is telling which number is which. So this dude is the first in line. We need to get rid of him first. To do so, we need to spray some breadcrumbs on him. Bam. Sorry. Oh, the bird! <laughs> cool. Now look, the monkey changed the number to number two. And look, what's that? That is a gold coin. This is so awesome. Now, with one gold coin, we can actually go and buy ourselves a water of bottle. <laughs> I know, that sounds crazy. 
thank you. So I have bottled water. Now, we need to go to the right. We need to get rid of this dude. This is a thing, dude, from the... disaster! Those thieving birds took the rope out of all my sacks! Now my mill is covered in flour. I'm so busy cleaning that I'm way behind on my milling. I have stacks and stacks of empty flour bags and nothing to fill them. Okay, actually, uh, you want to hear a song about him? Uh, about the millman. Take a visit to the mill. You'll see that it's spotless clean. It's not for Hobbs' love of milling, but because mud makes him scream. I'll have you know it's a v valid psychiatric condition called germophobia. Germophobia. Okay, you know what? Let's listen about everyone, about this dude. The finest work in all the land. Ties ropes are quite rare. Not only does it take him months, he weaves them with his hair. What? F with his hair? Anyway, uh, let's listen about the... Breads, muffins, and pies, Oswald fearless with his baking. He'd be the bravest man in town if birds didn't leave him shaking. He's afraid of birds, that's why he, well, was a little bit afraid of those bear crumbs. Now, about Remus. A killer of bugs, destroyer of homes, Remus is like no other. But if you want a quality hero, I suggest you find his brother. No, gosh. Okay, that sounds a little bit harsh, but I'm gonna take that. Anyway, guys, we need to continue with our mission. So, bottled water. Guys, if we would talk to this beautiful pig. Look, bam, that's dirt. That's basically dry dirt. And that's what I don't need. So, I'm gonna sprinkle some water over this pig. And as you can see, the color changes now. Look, bam. Oh, bam. So since the millman, if I can say that, uh, is afraid of germs, he just goes away and he dropped another gold coin. That's so cool, but you might say that I spend one gold coin to buy that bottle, but I can return it back to this dude and get the second... Yeah. I have two gold coins and now I can buy myself a scarf. Guys, this is so crazy. Good choice. This scarf will light up your eyes like diamonds in the sun and frame your face like an oil painting of a master craftsman. Wow, you think? Um, <clears throat> I mean, actually, this isn't for me. And that's actually really true. So, woman's scarf. And what do you think? What are we gonna do to, to this scarf? So, we're gonna give the scarf to this dude. I know it sounds a little bit dangerous, but just hear me out. Look. Yeah. No, a shoulder rag for wiping your face during extreme butchering sessions. Ugh, why is it pink? It's not, it's white. It's been soaked in blood. Ah, I like it. Oh my, look at him. Now, now, this is gonna be an intense moment. We are going to talk to this dude. Yes, and we want you to make another poem about- We never thought we'd see the day when Lud so brazenly shows That draped across his manly frame are flowery women's clothes What did you just say, Bard? I'll have you know this is a blood-soaked shoulder rag Um, are you sure about that? I mean, yes, of course it is, you're absolutely- oh! You've put me in a murderous rage now I have to go blow off some steam by vigorously butchering some random animal carcasses. Goodbye. And he left. And you see, look, our number is four, and I am the first one in line, and I can go... Yeah, finished. Rope for number four. Yes, guys, this is it. We got... Oh, what's that? I know you're looking at me right now saying, Vic, what is this crazy thing you're lying on? What if I told you this was a bed, not made of rope, but of water? Handpicked from the swamps of apnea, this water mattress gives the feeling of floating on water while offering up the comfort of 100 ropes. Wow! Liam, that is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. If we could get that for Grappa, he would sleep like a king. With that much rest, he can serve twice as many beverages. Making the audience twice as drunk for your ballot. I'll be beloved. Excuse me, good sir, how much for this mattress of water? I'm so glad you asked. For today only, I'll give you this amazing water mattress for 7,000 easy consecutive payments of just two gold coins. What a bargain. I'm in. Whoa, Remus, we can't afford that. That's 14,000 gold coins.
No, it's not. It's 7,000 consecutive payments of two gold coins. Oh. Well, at least we still have this rope. After seeing that mattress, I can't show up to grappas with peasant twine. We need to find a way to the apnea swamps. The swamps are a three-day journey and nearly impenetrable. Unless we grow wings, th there's no way we're going to get there. Hmm. I told you I'd get us there. Yeah, you really know how to use your head, Remus. I'd say grab one that isn't infested with bed bugs, but it doesn't look like that's possible. Maybe we can convince one to give up their mattress. Uh, excuse me, bug? Shut up and go away. Can't you see him trying to sleep? God! Hey, bed bug, listen up. Move to another mattress or else. Or else what? My jaw is powerful enough to bite off your arm. So just try it. Okay, we'll have to go with plan B. Liam, do you have any flammable liquids? Wait a second. I think I know a better way. These bugs have a scary bedtime story about an evil witch that haunts the swamp. Maybe if you can dress up like a witch, we can scare them out of bed. Perfect. I'll head off in search of a scary costume. <laughs> Stupid bed bugs and their goofy children's tales. I'm gonna get it. Uh oh. True stories. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna switch to Mr. Remus right here, and we are going to get dressed. Or maybe not as a witch. So basically, things f first things first. Let's grab this one. Okay, got it. So this is a pincher beetle. We need to pinch this thing. I have no idea what kind of thing it is, but we will do it right now. I think we need to use this. Okay. Okay, got it. But I think we need to do... Yep. Look at that bug. Again? Can I do this again? Of course I can. Now he's down there and... Can I jump on it? Because I know for a fact that I should be able to jump on this thing. Boom! And the last thing to get is this thing that looks like a witch's hair. Thank you. Ow! Uh-oh. Where am I? Ah, you're finally awake! Welcome to my humble lair! Uh-oh, are you going to eat me? Eat you? Do you know how many calories man flesh is? No, you're my new motivational training partner. Well, you've picked the right man. I'm really good at barking orders and yelling. What can I do for you? I'm trying to shrink my love handles with a soup diet. The problem is I can't even bring myself to try any of it. So I'm hoping that by staring at you and fantasizing about sucking the meat off your bones, I'll be able to choke down a bull. <laughs> uh, normally I'd be happy to help, but I'm right in the middle of an important quest. Don't worry. As soon as this dinner bell rings, we can test my theory. What if it doesn't work? I figure I can just devour you and start my diet after the weekend. Okay, hold tight. I gotta find a way out of here. Alright, so guys, so at this point, I cannot do anything. I cannot get out of this cage because it is locked. So best time to swap characters back into Liam. Now, we need to go down into the water. I know it sounds crazy because we're well, basically inside the swamp, the water is dirty, but uh, we're gonna do that. So, what we need to do, we need to get this thing, uh, so, the, so then we can attach it to our head and then we could s basically breathe underwater. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, we need to uh, press twice this thing and... Uh, wait a second. Bam! Bam! This is it! Yep! This is it! This is how you get, um, basically a bowl. And I need to breathe underwater, so this thing will perfectly... Let's go, Liam, bye! That was so fast, oh my, jeez. Alright, so basically this is the mattress that that bug is sleeping on, and I need to cut that. As you can see, there is something sharp right here, but... Ow! That thing. Yeah, we need to pass that giant eyeball, and to pass the giant eyeball, we need to make this place uh, basically to cover to be covered by the shadow because uh, then he, he will won't be able to see us. So now we need to go to the left. We need to grab some of these rocks, I think. Yep, cool. Grab these rocks and let's go to the right. We'll use the rocks on this plant uh, because it's emitting. Cool. Now, as you can see, this algae is going down. Cool. Let's grab it. 
this is what we need algae yes let's go to the left and now we need to lure this fish with algae bada boom and cool this is this is really good now we need to grab this branch or oh, coral it's called coral cool and to grab what this color is used for to grab this thing and to pry it out we need coral stick bam thank you very much cool so i have a aquatic gumball now to use aquatic gumball as you can see one uh, hole is still not filled up so we can actually fill it up bam but this fish yeah i know this fish is actually spitting it out so what i need to do i need to give this gumball to this fish thank you oh th this is so sad now chewed gum Let's put it back in this catapult. Bam. And look, you see, it's covering up in algae. Yes, this is what we need. The eye cannot see us anymore. Now, we need to grab this thing. And uh, that's a razor tooth. Cool. And use this razor tooth to cut down. Yeah. Thank you. And basically, this is it. Now, guys, this is a very important thing. As you can see, they had shrimp got right here so i can actually grab it and open keynote shrimp we will open the lock right here and i'm free this is good this is so good now there are some really interesting moments that we need to do so basically let, let's grab the candle we need to light it up right here because we you, you will you have no idea where we where we will use the light uh, the candle for now let's place it back right here let's grab these recipes because these recipes there's some loose pages here looks like recipes for the 30-day soup diet yeah thank you now we have four recipes and we need to open this cabinet and we need to mix some recipes cool anyway guys so basically to mix recipes we need to uh, mimic this shape of whatever it is basically it's pretty easy as you can see three things up right there and three things up down here now we need to add this one and subtract boom we have first dissolve potion which is great now we need to get the second one hard rock rock hard abs now to do so we need to pr use this one the big then subscri subtract the smaller uh, circle and we need to make one tier up in the mm, on the top now to do so we need to uh wait a second we need to let me just think we need to get uh i think this one yep this one and subtract with these yes this is good solidify potion we have already mixed two recipes which is really really good now we need again the circle in the middle and we need to subtract this one we had the shape in the middle and we need to add those tears over here now i think we need to add this one and this one yep it's good now we have explode potion and i think we have the last recipe and we will be good to go now the last recipe will be with this one yeah the tears are already done we need to make this one and use the subtraction for ooh, i think this one is it good yes that's it liquefy potion i think that's it yeah cool now we need to use the recipes first we need liquefy explode solidify i think we need to use the dissolve potion on this chest yes good full of cookies and a note i promise to stop sabotaging my own happiness and stick to the diet this month no more cookies signed the swamp witch judging by that lock i'd say willpower is in one of her strengths so apparently um that witch wants uh basically she likes cookies a lot so we will place one cookie right here and we will liquefy the cookie with the liquefying potion cool now mm, the sweet smell of big cookies is in the air cool now i think uh she will come no she's not coming anyway we can actually ring the bell right now and uh boom cool uh i think nothing will happen right now okay just close the yeah hello mr witch how are you doing i know Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Cool. This is what I want. Now, guys, basically what we want, we need to use the solidify potion on this soup. And I think we need to ring the bell and it is going to yield amazing results. Now, let's just wait for a few seconds. It will come. Uh, now, yeah, it's yellow. The soup is yellow. Cool. Let's now. 
Oh my jeez. One scary looking creature. If only I could find a way to take you with me. So we have four more potions and she's turned into stone. This is so sad, actually, but we need to use uh, Liquify, Solidify. I think we need to use Dissolve. Yes. Ow. She lost her head. That's so sad. Now, explode. We need to explode the shell to get away, and that's Explosions it. Explosions really do solve everything. Bedbugs, prepare to be terrified. Sorry, bug. You have to vacate this mattress. Oh, yeah? Says who? Says her. All right, now where are those birds? Amazing. And that's it, we just got ourselves a mattress. It's like lying on the ocean, without the salty wetness or smell of dead fish. I love it. Why don't you take a quick nap and then we can celebrate with a round of freshly poured beverages and song. Okay, Liam, warm up your singing voice. We'll soon have a captive audience. <laughs> What are you trying to pull? This bed is full of bugs. I can't sleep on this thing. Oh no! This mattress must have been covered in bugs when we brought it here. No problem. How hard could it be to get rid of a few baby bugs? Okay, that was harder than I thought. The only way to get rid of bed bugs is to attack their comfort level. Huh. <sighs> if only this wonderful bed was hard and uncomfortable. You're right, Liam. We need to fill it with concrete. Sounds extreme, Remus. But I'm sure you know best. So anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the first Ballads of Remus episode and two more aways for us. This game is amazing and I'm so excited to play it again. But guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see the next chapters of Ballads of Remus, then I suggest you leave a like and basically subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'm gonna see you all tomorrow with the next episode. Bye-bye.